Hi guys, it's Dan here, and today I'm going to be breaking down our blog post, Why Become an SEO, which is basically just going to be going through all the main points that we've got on the blog about why it's great to become an SEO and why it could be a great industry for you to have a look at. So number one, we've got job satisfaction. So the reason why this is probably one of the best points uh, on this blog is because the job satisfaction of SEO work is actually fantastic. It's obviously if you're good at your job, then all you're doing is improving different people's websites online and in turn actually making them more profit and more revenue from that. Uh, so it's really, really great uh, to actually see your clients improve and actually succeed. And then obviously the feedback you get from them is fantastic. Uh, they're really, really happy with you. And then every single month then the work that you carry out is really valued. So the job satisfaction from that point of view is fantastic. Uh, second is it's actually not location dependent, which obviously means you can travel wherever you want to. Uh, this is obviously the case if you work with your, within your own SEO industry and your own uh, SEO corporation, as then you're able to kind of travel out and, you know, if you want to, you can carry out some work on holiday, you can carry out some work, uh, perhaps, you know, at a friend's house or wherever you want to be. So it's really nice that it actually gives you that freedom to be able to do that wherever you'd like, as opposed to other jobs which are just simply, you know, office-based jobs and there's no real uh, potential for you leaving those jobs. Number three, it's a growing industry. Now, this is really the case because obviously the more and more websites that are going up online every single day is ridiculous. Uh, more and more businesses are trying to set up online and realizing it's a very profitable thing to do. And uh, when they're doing that, they're realizing, oh, wait, I need to actually get some SEO and start ranking on Google. So they're approaching different people uh, more and more. And SEO is becoming a, a more needed thing every single day. So it's definitely a growing industry, probably one of the most growing industries online right now. Uh, so we'd really recommend uh, having a look at it for one of those reasons as well. Uh, number four is that the profits can be unlimited. Uh, obviously, this depends on how many clients you're able to take on. But the idea with SEO is that the more you scale out, you're able to actually hire people underneath you. And obviously, they can carry out certain works. So you pay them. And then obviously, the uh, amount of clients that you pick up and amount of the money that you make can be completely unlimited, really, depending on um, yourself. So depending on your uh, your work ethic, depending on your systems and your processes, you can really make this as profitable as you, as you want it to be. Or obviously, if you'd like to kind of hit a point, hit a target, and then stop there and just carry that on, you can do that. So it's kind of unlimited, really, about kind of how you want to run your SEO agency. Number five is flexible working hours, uh, very similar to the location thing. There's no real restrictions, like I said, if you have your own corporation of when you want to work. So uh, SEO is needed all the time. It's not going to change if you carry out SEO at night or carry it out in the daytime. Uh, realistically, the rankings are what matters. So when you get those rankings really doesn't matter. So again, like I said, you could get up late and work throughout the evening. You could work across a whole night. You could get up really early and finish early. It really doesn't depend on, uh, on you and what you want to do. But the working hours are much more flexible than pretty much every every other industry. So it's fantastic there if you're obviously working in a uh, organization or for your own organization that allows for that to happen. Number six is that it's probably the most searched for for skill. Uh, what this means is a lot of people are really uh, looking for really great SEO uh, services and, and a lot of people aren't really trained up in this field enough. So... What I mean, again, is a lot of people, you know, for example, for accountancy, there's loads of people that might do accountancy. There's loads of people that might do, uh, you know, be a receptionist or an admin. But there's not many people that actually have the training to carry out a successful SEO campaign and actually understand the industry throughout. So if you gain this understanding and you become good at SEO, then you're a very valuable member in a very uh, small industry, really, that doesn't have too many people actually learning about it. So it can be fantastic if you can get a real niche, um, niche understanding of the industry and then obviously implement that to other people's clients' websites. It's a really good point there on that one. And number seven is you don't need to meet a single client in person. And this is true. Um, you, you know, you can build up relationships online or on the phone. You don't actually have to really uh, go to the client's offices. You know, that can be agreed in the contract. You could say, we'll carry out this work for you. We'll send you a report every month. And that's kind of all it needs to be or a telephone call. And there's no real need to spend money on travel. You need to go see clients, to go explain things to them. Everything can be done over, over a simple video call or over a phone call or whatever. So depending on what your preferences are, you can actually arrange that with them. So if you're someone that doesn't like going to too many meetings or meeting new people, this can be a great alternative for you there as well. Number eight is you never run out of a potential client. This again alludes to what I was saying earlier about the websites. So you can see here on the post, we've said that 118 new websites are coming online every single minute. So seven, over 7,000 new websites every single hour. So when you think about how many new businesses that is, uh, potential businesses that need SEO every single day, it's ridiculous. And obviously in loads of different niches as well. So it never really gets boring from that point of view. You're always working on something new and in a new industry. So that's a good point there. Number nine is your revenue can be made uh, totally passive. So what this means again is if you scale things out and you actually have people working underneath you, this revenue can be completely passive. You don't really have to do too much work on it other than kind of managing the people that are uh, there and maybe sending the odd report here and there. But uh, when you get to a point where it can be passive, it can be a very relaxing job for you then because obviously all you're doing is managing and uh, making sure that the people underneath you are carrying out the work required to actually ensure that uh, the jobs are getting done and that the money's coming in.
So number 10 is the SEO community. So this is fantastic really guys. There's not really another industry like it in my opinion in terms of uh, such a close knit community of kind of different Facebook groups, you know, communities, forums, blogs, all that kind of stuff. People who are talking all the time, meeting up to, you know, do masterminds, all that kind of stuff. So it's a really nice community, really friendly. And it means obviously that people can um, share tips and tricks with, uh, with, with, with one another. And obviously that kind of ties into the networking video that I made previously. So if you want to check that out, just have a look at that as well. But uh, all about networking, all about the community and a fantastic community that SEO is. And that's basically it, guys. We've got a little bit of a roundup at the bottom, but I'd really recommend you guys check out the blog and obviously read this in more detail. All I've kind of done on here is summarize the points mainly, but as you can see, there's plenty of great reasons why you might want to become an SEO, uh, particularly in the current climate of uh, you know of business and marketing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, with the, how many websites that are being set up in uh, every single day from different niches, it really is worth a thought. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you guys later.